Hello students, this is Dr. A. S. Ayer. I welcome you all for the course on Finite Element Method in Civil Engineering. Our today's topic is Shape Functions for 8 Noded Serendipity Element. So if you consider one 8 noded serendipity element in natural coordinate system, we know that in natural coordinate system origin is assumed at the center of element. Horizontal coordinate represent the xi coordinate and vertical coordinate represent the eta coordinate. Using this natural coordinate system, if you write down the coordinates of 8 node, we know that already we discussed in previous two problems. This quadrant represents the first quadrant where signs of coordinates are plus plus and therefore coordinates of node number 3 are plus 1 plus 1. Okay. Then node number 1 lies in third quadrant. So coordinates of these are minus 1 and minus 1. Right? Node number 4 is in second quadrant. So coordinates are minus 1 and plus 1. And node number 2 lies in fourth quadrant. So its coordinate are plus 1 and minus 1. So these are the coordinates of four corner nodes. Then the middle nodes, node number 5 which lies on eta axis. So its xi coordinate will be equal to 0 and eta coordinate will be equal to minus 1 because downward. Similarly node number 7 lies on eta axis. So its xi coordinate will be 0 but eta coordinate will be plus 1 vertically upward. Node number 6 lies on xi axis. So its xi coordinate will be plus 1 because towards right and eta coordinate will be 0. So it is 1 0. And node number 8 xi coordinate will be minus 1 and eta coordinate will be 0. So like this draw one 8 noded rectangular element and show the coordinates of 8 nodes. Now in addition to these coordinates there are few more points you have to show in the element. If you look at this figure now. Now, apart from the coordinates of nodes, which we have shown in the previous figure, these coordinates, right? Apart from this, now few more points you have to highlight, such as, if you join middle nodes by a straight line like this, node number 5 and 6 join with this line, node number 6, 7 with this line, similarly node number 7, 8 with this line and node number 8 and 5 with this line. So these are the four inclined lines which join the middle nodes. Now we have to find out the equation of these inclined lines, right? So equation of equ line, we know that how to find out y equal to mx plus c. This is the equation to find out or to write down the equation of any line, right? But instead of finding now using this equation, it takes a lot of time in examination. So there is a simple logic to write down the equation of line. For example, if you want to write down the equation of this line, joining 5 and 6, okay? Uh, now if you look at with respect to this origin, this right edge, vertical edge represent that it is xi equal to plus 1 coordinate Okay, for node number 2 and 3. So here you can write down for this edge, for this edge it is xi equal to plus 1. Similarly for this left edge you can write down xi is equal to minus 1. Right. Similarly for upper edge of the origin you can write down this represent the eta equal to plus 1 coordinate and the lower edge represent the eta equal to minus 1 coordinate, right? So if you understand this logic to write down what these four edges, which coordinate these four edges represent. Now we come to our point, if you want to find out the equation of this inclined line joining the point number 5 and 6. So what this uh, inclined line is connected to this vertical edge and this horizontal edge, right? This horizontal edge represent eta equal to minus 1 and this vertical edge represent it xi equal to plus 1. So the equation of this line will be write down 1 first, okay, 1 and xi equal to plus 1, eta equal to minus 1. So use opposite sign of that, it is minus xi and plus eta, okay, because here xi is plus and here we have used opposite minus. Similarly, here eta is minus, we have used eta equal to plus. So 1 minus xi plus eta equal to 0, this is the equation of this inclined line, okay, which is written here if you look at. So understand the logic, how to write down equation of line. If you want to write down this inclined line, consider these two edges, horizontal and vertical. These two edges follow the sign xi is plus 
and eta is minus. So using the opposite sign of that, xi is minus here and eta is plus here. So equation of line becomes 1 minus xi plus eta equal to 0. Okay, this is the equation of this inclined line. Similarly, if you want to write down the equation of this line joining node number 6 and 7. Okay, so now look at this line. See, if you look at this line, okay, this line join the uh, this horizontal edge. Node number 7 is on this horizontal edge and node number 6 on this vertical edge. Now this edge represents xi is plus and this edge represents eta plus. Right. So use opposite signs of that means minus xi and minus eta. So equation of this line will be 1 minus xi minus eta equal to 0. Right? Because these two are plus and that's why we are using minus minus here. 1 minus xi, 1 minus eta equal to 0. Right? Similarly, if you want to find out equation of this line joining node number 7 and 8. So this line is connected with the node number 7 representing this horizontal edge and node number 8 representing this vertical edge. This vertical edge means xi equal to minus and this horizontal edge means eta is equal to plus. So opposite sign of this minus xi means plus xi here and plus eta means minus eta here. So equation of this line will be 1 plus xi minus eta equal to 0. Similarly, if you want to write down the equation of this line like this, equation of this line. Okay. So it connects this vertical edge which shows the node number 8 and this horizontal edge which shows the node number 5. So horizontal edge represent this eta equal to minus 1. Right. So and vertical edge represents xi is equal to minus 1. So both are minus. So opposite of opposite sign of these two becomes both positive. So plus xi plus eta. So equation of this line will be 1 plus xi plus eta equal to 0. Okay, like this you write down equations of four inclined lines. If you understand this, how to write down equation of line, next part is very simple to write down the shape functions of eight noded centripetal element. Okay. Now using this figure again if you come now if you want to write down the shape functions for corner nodes like node number 1, 2, 3, 4. So shape functions are written like this. For example if you want to write down shape function for node number 1 right. So see now at node number 1 this vertical edge is connected this horizontal edge is connected and to this vertical and horizontal edge this inclined line is connected so we have to consider these three edges these two edges plus this middle line inclined line okay now what this vertical line represent this represents xi equal to minus 1 this horizontal line represent eta equal to minus 1 and this inclined line represent equation of line is 1 plus xi 1 plus eta equal 1 plus xi plus eta equal to 0 so using these three, understand again how to write down N1, how to write down N1. So this vertical edge represent xi equal to minus 1, so it is 1 minus xi, okay, corresponding to this vertical. This horizontal edge represent eta equal to minus 1, so it is 1 minus eta, okay. And this inclined line, this inclined line equation is 1 plus xi plus eta equal to 0. So this is in inclined line equation 1 plus xi plus eta. These three brackets multiply by C, which is unknown constant to be determined, right? So like this, you have to write down N1. Please understand again, I will repeat it. At node number 1, this is vertical edge connected. This horizontal edge is connected. And to this vertical and horizontal edge, there is one inclined edge is connected, right? This one, this inclined. So we have to write down about these three lines. So this vertical line represent xi minus and this horizontal line represent eta minus. So corresponding to these two vertical and horizontal edges we have to write down a bracket. That bracket is 1 minus xi corresponding to minus xi it is 1 minus xi and corresponding to this eta equal to minus coordinate it is 1 minus eta. And this third line which is connecting these two points or two nodes its line equation will be 1 plus xi, 1 plus eta, 1 plus xi plus eta. 
and these three brackets are multiplied by one arbitrary constant which is unknown to be determined that is c okay now we have to calculate this value of c so this c can be determined by using one property of shape function we know that value of shape function at each node is always equal to unity it means n1 is equal to 1 n1 is equal to 1 at node number 1 this is property of shape function that value of shape function at each node is always equal to 1 it means n1 equal to 1 at node number 1 and node number 1 means what this coordinate z equal to minus 1 eta equal to minus 1 right z minus 1 eta minus 1 so using this z minus 1 and eta minus 1 if you put here all these z and eta coordinates z minus 1 here eta minus 1 here z minus 1 here eta minus 1 here and n1 is equal to 1 on left hand side if you put these coordinates you will get the value of c and that is 1 upon 4 here n1 is equal to 1 so if you solve this right hand side if you take on the left hand side it will be c equal to 1 upon 4 right now this value of c is same for node number 1 2 3 4 that is four corner nodes for four corner nodes value of c remains same that is 1 upon 4 right so now c is known to us come to again if you put that c here if you put that c here in n1 so n1 will be finally 1 minus z 1 minus eta 1 plus z plus eta divided by 4 right this is value of c is 1 minus minus means 1 plus 1 it is 2 then 1 plus plus 1 it is 2 and this 1 minus 1 will it cancel it is minus 1 so its multiplication is minus so it is actually minus 1 upon 4 c is equal to minus 1 upon 4 and that's why this minus sign is there c is equal to minus 1 upon 4 not plus 1 upon 4 so now this c is common to all four corner nodes only we have to complete now these brackets different brackets right for example now if you want to write down for shape function for node number 2 So if you look at node number two, it is connecting to this vertical edge, which represents z is plus coordinate. Therefore, here it is one plus z bracket. You have to write down first bracket is one plus z. Then this node number two is connected to this horizontal edge, which represent eta minus one. So this edge represent one minus eta, right? And this node number two, vertical and horizontal edge is connected by this inclined line. whose equation of line is this 1 minus z 1 plus eta equal 1 1 minus z plus eta equal to 0 so this is third bracket so understand which three brackets we have to consider 1 plus z 1 minus eta 1 minus z plus eta so look at here 1 plus z 1 minus eta 1 minus z plus eta and multiply by c that is minus 1 upon 4 it is same okay minus 1 upon 4 similarly if you look at node number 3 if you again identify this is the horizontal edge which is connected at node number 3 vertical edge connected at node number 3 so this vertical edge represent the z coordinate plus so here first bracket is 1 plus z right so same is used here look at it this 1 plus z then this horizontal edge represent eta coordinate plus 1 so this bracket will be 1 plus eta so it is 1 plus eta see here and third bracket will be representing this equation of this line which is 1 minus z minus eta equal to 0 so that is third bracket 1 minus z minus eta multiply by c minus 1 upon 4 again it is same similarly node number 4 this represent the horizontal edge this horizontal edge this vertical edge and this inclined line right so this edge represent eta equal to plus so it is 1 plus eta bracket right and this edge represent the z minus so this bracket will be 1 minus z okay see this is 1 minus z 1 plus eta and this inclined line represent the equation 1 plus z minus eta so it is 1 plus z minus eta multiplied by c is minus 1 upon 4 this minus 1 upon 4 as it is so these are the n2 n3 n4 like this we can find out shape functions of four corner nodes in 
serendipity element okay now if you want to find out shape functions for middle nodes now for middle nodes the process is a little different now forget about the inclined lines forget about this inclined line there is no use of this inclined lines in middle nodes now these are used only to find out the shape functions of corner nodes now there is no use of these inclined lines now look at if you want to find out shape function for node number 5 this horizontal edge is there okay connecting to node number 5 and this node number 5 is connected by these two inclined lines right this two inclined line which are again connected to this vertical edge so for node number 5 we have to consider these three edges understand for node number 5 we have to connect we have to consider these three edges right now how to write down the equations of these three edges this edge represents xi equal to minus 1 so this bracket will be 1 minus xi this edge represents xi equal to plus 1 so this will be represented by 1 plus xi and this horizontal edge represent eta equal to minus 1 so the equation will be 1 minus eta so which three bracket understand 1 minus xi 1 plus xi 1 minus eta see here 1 minus xi 1 plus xi 1 minus eta right multiply by again one unknown constant that is c okay this is value of n5 shape function for node number 5 here again we have to find out value of c now to find out value of c we have to use the same property that value of shape function at each node is always equal to unity so n5 u this shape function for node number 5 u is equal to 1 at node number 5 u and whose coordinates are xi equal to 0 and eta equal to minus 1 xi equal to 0 eta equal to minus 1 so at these coordinates n5 u is equal to 1 so if you put this xi equal to 0 eta equal to minus 1 here okay and n5 u is equal to 1 here and if you solve that you will get the value of c which is equal to 1 upon 2 okay c is equal to 1 upon 2 so if you put using this c value if you put that c value here in n5 here if you put c okay so 1 minus xi this bracket 1 minus eta this bracket 1 plus xi this bracket into c means 1 upon 2 so it is 1 upon 2 this is value of n5 right which is again simplified we using the simple rule of mathematics 1 minus xi 1 plus xi a minus b a plus b nothing but 1 minus xi square okay a square minus b square so if you want you can stop at this point no problem but if you want you can simplify 1 minus xi 1 plus xi this multiplication is 1 minus xi square and multiply by 1 minus eta divided by 2 this is n5 similarly now using the same c value is same for remaining all middle nodes that is node number 6 7 and 8 for all these three middle nodes c will be same 1 upon 2 only now these three brackets will change okay these three brackets will change now understand for node number 5 which three edges we have considered we have considered this edge horizontal edge where node number 5 lies on this horizontal edge and this node number 5 is connecting with these two inclined which is connected to these two vertical edges so like this this three edges we have considered for node number 5 so it is just like a open cup it is just like a open cup where node number 5 is at the middle similarly for node number 6 now if you imagine 6 7 8 which edges we have to consider for node number 6 we are considering node number 6 so it lies on this vertical edge which is connected by to these two inclined edges which are again connected to this horizontal edge so like this we have to consider these three edges for node number 6 <coughs> these three edges we have to consider it is again just like a open curve which is open from this direction so these three edges we have to consider for node number 6 again if you want to write down equation of these three edges this represent the eta plus 1 so it is 1 plus eta right this represent the eta minus 1 so it is 1 minus eta and this represent the xi equal to plus 1 so it is 1 plus xi okay so it is 1 plus xi here if you look at and this 1 plus eta 1 minus eta again it is written 1 minus eta square multiplication of these two brackets 1 minus eta square 
Similarly, if you want to write down shape functions for node number 7, which three edges we have to consider? This one, this and this. These three we have to consider. Right? Again, what are the equations of these three edges? This represent 1 minus xi. This represent 1 plus xi. And this represent 1 plus eta. Right? So, 1 plus eta here as it is and 1 minus xi, 1 plus xi becomes 1 minus xi square. Multiply by C 1 upon 2. And for last node number 8, which three edges we have to consider? First, second and third. These three we have to consider. Here is the node number 8. So, what are the equations of lines? This represents eta plus 1. So, it is 1 plus eta. This is eta minus 1. So, it 1 minus eta. And this is xi minus 1. It means 1 minus xi. Okay. So, this 1 minus xi as it is. And this 1 plus eta and 1 minus eta becomes 1 minus eta square again. Multiply by C 1 upon 2. So, these are the shape functions for 8 noted serendipity element. I hope all of you have understand how to find out shape functions for serendipity element. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.